This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2023 Sunset Trail model number 330SI. And uh, this is a uh, how-to video. It's, it's not a uh, floor plan video, so I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? We'll go back to the rear here. Okay, so you have uh, power stabilizers here. So one switch controls both rear, the other switch controls both front. The switch in the front controls both front. Okay. As we move forward, pass the door side slide. You have signal out plus power here. There's the front stabilizer controller switch. Of course, you get um, you get a dump hose with it. You get this sprayer, this coiled sprayer. And let me see here. This particular. Let's see if I can swing this around here. Whoops! This particular crank here. If you can see, it has a cylinder with a slot cut in it. Well, that will fit on the. If you go to the the stabilizer uh, on the off door side you'll see that there's a, a, a shaft with a pin through it so you can attach this to that shaft with a pin through it you can crank the stabilizers manually if something happens to them you get into trouble they stop working for whatever reason you can always crank them manually doing that now this crank here is for the power tongue jack in case it fails if it ever fails you just pull the plug out of the top here crank it manually Okay. Um, yeah, this is a kill switch for your battery. You have a deep cycle marine battery, two LP tanks full, of course your power tongue jack. Come around to this side. This is the, the your water hookups right here. So your your uh, city water is right here. Just hook up your uh, your um, the city water hose and you're all set. Now if you're camping someplace without city water you can pre-fill your fresh water tank right here and then use the onboard pump to pump the water. So I'll show you where the switch for that is inside but either way if you, the most common way like I said is most places are going to have city water but if you're boondocking somewhere or just someplace without city water you can pre-fill your tank and pump it yourself and you still all the plumbing still works as though you have city water. This is your black tank flush. Like it says on the sticker here, make sure you leave the black tank valve open before you turn the water on. So if I come back here, right here, you have your, your, your gray and black tank. Two gray tanks and one black. If, you don't, if you're going to flush the black tank, leave the valve open like it is now. Hook the hose on there, turn around, and it'll spray out the inside of your tank. Clean off the sensor so you get a good accurate reading, that sort of thing. All right. This down here, this white gate valve, that's to dump your fresh water tank. Now, I told you about the pin with the shaft in it on the other side of the stabilizers. That's what we're looking at right now. You can stick that crank on there and crank it manually if you have to. Okay. This is, I showed you the sprayer, the coiled sprayer. That's where it this way there goes right there or it goes right there this is your on-demand water here so one thing I want to show you just so you know it's here is this rocker switch right here that's a power switch normally it's just going to be left on when you're you know in the uh, camping season or whatever but uh, right now it's winterized so it's you would keep it shut off but just keep in mind if you can't get any power up there check right here uh, by up there I mean at the switch okay We'll talk more about that on the inside. Okay, so this is just a uh, campground uh, uh, cable and satellite through right there. And it's a signal booster also. You can see your 50 amp uh, power cord, 30 foot power cord is attached right here. Um, it has a 50 amp system. Uh, if you look by the ladder up there, there's a housing that shows us that this uh, 
is prepped for a, a Furion backup camera kit, so you can always add that on if you're interested. You also have a ladder, makes it easy to inspect the roof. The manufacturer states every 60 to 90 days you should inspect your roof to make sure there's no damage to it by low branches or no, no place water can get through. Just give it a, a good look over. You're just protecting your investment, so it should be part of your regular maintenance. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Go inside here. Okay. So, as we come in the door, first thing we see is the uh, uh, carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should be green. If it's not green, get it serviced. It's obviously very important. Then we come around here, and this is the power converter right here. So you can see that you have a uh, 110 AC circuit breakers right here and they're all labeled then you have 12 volt DC fuses here and they're all labeled so the AC power is converted to 12 volt DC and it's also a battery tender so it'll sense how much energy energy your battery up front has and as long as you're plugged into shore power it'll keep your battery charged alright this is your control panel you have your slide rooms uh, your awning, power awning, never leave the awning out unattended. Always roll it in if you're not at the campsite. Lights here, of course. Um, you have tank heaters, which are basically heating pads on the uh, on the uh, each holding tank, so you can extend your camping season. And then you have your water pump here. We talked about the water pump to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. It's also used to winterize the trailer. And then, of course, your levels your battery, black tank one, so on and so forth. Okay? Uh, this is just storage. Now, this, this door clips or latches to the, let's see, it's the ceiling, I think, up at the ceiling here. So keep that in mind. Don't just yank on it. And this is prepped for a uh, washer, dryer, a stackable washer, dryer, or a combo. If you're if you're interested in, in installing a washer dryer, you got the plumbing and the power hookups for it. Okay. Your refrigerator is a 12 volt DC refrigerator, so it runs on 12 volt DC, not 110 AC, but it still has a compressor like your refrigerator at home. These are uh, your. This is your literature for all the, all the components of the trailer. Uh, this is your fireplace remote here. You can see it can change all the color and the, the intensity of it and all kinds of things. Okay, it also is a space heater so it really kicks out the heat. So it's a really good heater. This is a remote for your TV here. The TV is not just a TV, it also has FM radio, it has Bluetooth, it has uh, two speaker zones, A is inside and B is outside. Okay. Microwave works like any other microwave. This below it is a range hood with a light and a fan. Okay. When it comes to your range, this is the sparker. You turn this clockwise to spark. Then you have your three knobs for the three burners. And then, of course, your the knob for your oven. It's that simple. Okay. And also, also a light in an oven light, too. Okay. When it comes to your hide bed you pull the cushions off, move them aside, then you grab it in the center, you fold it out, three panels out, drop the back in place, drop the legs, and you got a, a very uh, decent, a really decent uh, hide bed Of course, you have uh, two recliners here for your television. This is a GFCI. There'll be another one in this trailer, I'm sure, somewhere. The bottom line is all the plugs in the trailer, including the ones on the outside, are wired through a GFCI. So if you're if you're using something outside and it pops, you're still going to reset it at, at, at 
this one or the other one, so. Okay. Uh, chairs, of course, and this table uh, leaf folds out or pulls out. Extends out, I guess. And, yeah. There's more more light that uh, I haven't turned on up yet also, so. One thing to know is this, this uh, disc with the blue sticker on it, if you were to scan that code, it'll take you to the web page that tells you about this this uh, add-on. It's pre-wired for it. And basically, what, it does have 4G, but mainly what people use is the public Wi-Fi booster. If your family uses a lot of Wi-Fi, you can get the kit. There's also a port on the top where an antenna would hook up on the top, and then the router box would fit right here. And it just has a router and a, and a, a booster so you can get really good public Wi-Fi. It just, just get a much better signal. So, um, uh, I mean, public Wi-Fi is notoriously weak, but these really do a good job. So if you're interested, interested in that, you can always uh, look into that. Okay, let's see what else. As I look around. Okay, your, your, uh, so you just hit it once to, uh, to light the, uh, to light it up so you can see it. I'm going to switch it to off now so it shuts the air conditioner off that he's running. But you just choose what you want. You choose, uh, heat, which is your LP furnace. You can choose, uh, fan, which is just your air conditioner running without the compressor. And then cool, which is your full air conditioning. Alright, so sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. Always have this latched when you're traveling because if you don't, it'll slam together and break. So you always want that latched. Um, there's the other GFCI, GFCI I was telling you about. Now this is your um, controller for your, for your, um, your hot water. So right there this is set at at um, the on-demand is set at right now as at 115 degrees Fahrenheit which is pretty typical so when you when you turn this the hot water on the burner will light and it'll send you non-stop 115 degrees Fahrenheit water for your shower mainly that's mainly what the people use it for but um, let me get it lit up again I'm sorry you can also change from Celsius to, to Fahrenheit up and down with the temperature now if this um, if there's no water supply the gas burner will not light it's, it's a built-in safety so if you don't have city water hooked up or you don't have water in your fresh water tank with your water pump on when you try to call for for hot water it won't even turn on it won't, will not light it's just a safety device so you can't run it without you can't run the gas burner without water going through it so keep in mind that's that's a, just a safety device Okay, um, your toilet works like all travel trailer toilets, as in it sits right over a black tank. This is your flush pedal here. Um, when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water, of course. Then you're going to come in here and you're going to uh, put a dose of chemical right in the bowl. Then you're going to stand on the pedal and hold it down while water swirls in, and you let up at least a gallon of water go in there, along with the chemical. Then it's ready to use. If you don't, if you don't use a wa water and chemical, that's considered using it dry, and uh, it'll get clogged up and the smell will be terrible. So you always want to have a dose of chemical and at least a gallon of water in there when you start using it. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You have the second air conditioner here. This one has the controls right on it. You can see that right here. Um, these you're gonna always want to keep this latch shut when you're traveling. Okay, you have some storage underneath here, underneath the bed, and then you have your your escape window, and you have a, another TV hook up here with a backing plate. So, and like I said, the controls for this air conditioner are right on the unit. That's that's thermostat, and that's your controller. Okay. Alrighty. So I think that about covers it. Let me just look around here and make sure I didn't 
miss anything here. You have shades all the way around. Now this one is long one. You're probably going to need two hands to operate it. But you can see it. It just goes up and down and it's accordion shade. You have these on all the windows. All right. Okay. So I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Please uh, keep in mind, you, uh, the manufacturer states every 90 days you want to inspect the roof. So make sure you do that and keep ahead of any problems. And right now this is win winterized in that there's the water's been purged from the system and replaced with antifreeze. So uh, once you're getting ready to use it here in the springtime, you'll have to put, put the, hook up the city water and, and force all the antifreeze out so you're, uh, you're ready for the uh, summer, okay? Thank you.